Are you trying to switch from JavaScript to TypeScript in your Firebase Cloud functions, but hitting a wall? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to use Firebase Admin with TypeScript and tackle those pesky installation issues. I totally get it. Switching programming languages can be a real headache, especially when you encounter errors like the one you mentioned. It can feel like you're stuck in quicksand, right? But don't worry, we're here to help you out. Let's break down the situation. One user reached out saying they want to use Firebase Admin with TypeScript, but ran into an error when trying to install the types. They received a message saying that at types Firebase Admin is not in the NPM registry. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So what's going on here? Firebase Admin does support TypeScript, but the types are included directly in the package. This means you don't need to install them separately. Understanding this is key to resolving your issue. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make your TypeScript experience with Firebase even smoother. To begin using TypeScript with Firebase Admin and Cloud Functions, the user should first ensure that TypeScript is installed in their project. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user needs to create a TypeScript configuration file. This file will help define how TypeScript compiles the code. The user can create this file by running another command. Now, the user should install the Firebase Admin SDK. This is essential for using Firebase features in their TypeScript project. They can do this by running a command in the terminal. After installing the SDK, the user can start writing their TypeScript code. They should create a new TypeScript file, for example, index.ts, and import Firebase Admin at the top of the file. Finally, the user can compile their TypeScript code into JavaScript. This is done by running a command that compiles the TypeScript files according to the configuration set in the tsconfig.json. Fun fact, TypeScript was developed by Microsoft and is now one of the most popular programming languages out there. It helps catch errors early, making your coding experience smoother. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution shared by another user is to simply reload Visual Studio Code after installing Firebase Admin. This action resolved their issues with using Firebase Admin in TypeScript. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. One alternative approach to using Firebase Admin with TypeScript involves configuring your tsconfig.json file. You need to set options like Resolve JSON Module, S Module Interop, and Allow Synthetic Default Imports. Next, in your index.ts file, import Firebase Admin in your service account JSON. Initialize the app using the service account, casting it as any to avoid type issues. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach, shared by another user, involves importing the Firebase Admin module and initializing it with a service account. They suggest checking if any apps are already initialized before setting up the admin app with the provided credentials. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative approach shared by another user involves using TypeScript with Firebase Admin SDK. They start by importing necessary modules from Firebase Admin. Next, they initialize the app with credentials from a JSON file. This setup allows you to manage your Firebase services effectively. They create a push notification service class to handle sending notifications. This class includes options for message priority and time to live. The send method uses get messaging to send messages to a user's device, logging success or error responses. Finally, the push notification service class is exported for use in other parts of your application. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always check the official documentation for the latest updates on packages. This can save you a lot of time and frustration when working with new technologies. And there you have it. You should now be able to use Firebase Admin with TypeScript without any issues. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. 
And remember, coding is all about learning and growing.